Hi, you're back again with Steve from Tricked Out Cycles, and we'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'd like to please welcome everybody to go directly to our YouTube channel for more content all the time. Hey, welcome back to the station. You're here with Steve from Tricked Out Cycles. We're going to do our weekly update on the work we have going around the shop, and man, do we got a lot of cool stuff for you. So, I'm going to move it right along, and I'm going to show you one of the first things I've been working on. is this cool, uh, cool little uh, sports that we're bobbing out. What I did here because um, I was looking for some cool turn signal ideals. I didn't see any that I liked and the frame rails were cut. So I took the factory rear frame support cover, cut it down, shortened it, boxed it in, and I incorporated a little dot LED, which you see all over the place, are super bright, super clean. So once the fenders are painted, this is just gonna pop back on there and we'll have some real neat turn signals on there. And we're gonna do a full, uh, review on this bike once we finish it and this will be up for sale. I'm also going to show you in an upcoming video I have a, uh, a piece here. This is an aftermarket bat wing that people put on their M109. So this customer brought this to us and they want to do a cool looking paint scheme on there. So we did a rough rendering of what it's going to look like on paper to get the location out. So I am going to take these sections. The eyes are going to light up on this particular uh, image. So I'm going to show everybody how to do light up body panels step by step. Um, by injecting clear resin into this and shaping it, smoothing it, and then you'll be able to light up an image straight through the paint and you won't even be able to tell or feel it. So that'll be upcoming in some videos upcoming soon, so stay posted on that. So you might have seen the other day one of my techs was working on lacing up a wheel. So we have that here. Let me grab the remote and show you how it works. Okay, as you can see, it's 26 inch front wheel on this Victory. We were lighting it up the other day, so it's back on the bike. A lot of people see wheel lights and they wonder how the electric goes on. So let's turn them on and I'll show you how they operate. So here's the wheel. You can cycle through all different colors. And obviously the lights can rotate with the wheel. So people get amazed by this, but this has been around for quite some time now. But these are traditional LED light strips. Um, these are the 5050 SMD chips, which are the one of the brightest chips on the market. So they are actually stuck directly to each individual strip of the wheel. And if you look, all the wiring is brought back to and wired into this electrical disc right here. So just like in a drill, the power is transferred from this brush, which has spring-loaded carbon tips that will rub against this and transfer the power. So the power comes in just like an LED light strip through this, attaches, hits the brushes, on the disc, hence you have LED lights that are able to spin on your bike. And we can pretty much do this to any size wheel uh, on a motorcycle. A lot of these bagger guys do just their front wheel because that's the most visible one. But man, if you want to do front, back wheel, sport bikes, uh, we have a lot of different options. We sell the components you can do it yourself or we can certainly do it for you. So something real popular that gets crazy attention at night. I know one thing, I was down Ocean City, Maryland, I'm going to say about six years ago on my bagger with a 30 with wheel lights, and they were pretty fresh at that point. Man, I was shutting traffic down. Somebody actually even hit the car in front of them because they were just looking at my bike so hard, they tapped the car in front of them. So they are cool, but they can be dangerous, but man, they are going to see you. Working on a lot of different projects, so we have a uh, Suzuki Gixxer 1000 right here. This bike's coming in for a full facelift. So. This client actually owns a detail shop, so they wanted a custom paint job themed to with the, using their logo. So the first thing we did, they brought the bike in, it was in pretty good shape, but we looked at the bodywork and we found out it's one of these Chinese body kits with just inferior quality. So we cannot do a quality paint job on these unquality parts. So the customer did have the original bodywork, some pieces were damaged, so we sorted out all the pieces to be OEM now we're going to do a custom paint job on the bike. So we're starting by swapping out some powder coated pieces. Going to be removing the swing arm, re-powder coating that from damage that prior existed. So we're going to give this whole bike a face if you'll see the progress as it develops over the next couple of weeks on this. A lot of bikes in our staging area. Um, got a Honda CBR 1000 that came in with the front end completely smashed off of it. Snap wheels, upper and lower, triple tree, snapped in half. So we get a lot of these bikes, so we're checking the frame for straightness. Uh, we're going to be installing a complete new front end on that, and hopefully that bike will be going back together. It's still in the diagnosing steps right now, but we're hoping for the best. Now as you can see right here, this following up on this, this is the uh, VTX bagger that we're doing. 
So we're a lot farther mocked up right now. Um, we got the uh, inner, the forks, uh, handlebars, everything powder coated back on the bike. Did the wheels and powder coated red. So we got the uh, lowers, calipers, wheel repowder coated, all refinished, all mocked up. So we have a few more things to finish mocking up on this, like the lowers, we've got to finish stretching the other side. Uh, and then we'll have a couple finish, throw that final paint job on there, then add some graphics, and that'll be the customer's dream come true. And as you've seen last week, this is our 32 inch 2012 Street Glide. We have the front mocked up, doing some body work on it, smoothing it out. We're going to paint the frames, getting ready to go into the booth. This will be painted, then we'll be able to complete doing the front air ride and setting the ride height with the front air ride so this bike sits properly, has a correct stance at park. So that's it. This is going to be neat. We've got a couple steps. Everything is a process here. It takes time. A lot of places show you things happening overnight, but it certainly doesn't happen overnight. It's a lot of time, a lot of thought, a lot of waiting for parts. Um, unfortunately, a lot of waiting for parts in this, this day and age with the uh, shipping being overwhelmed, being a little extra long. So that's your weekly update blog. Uh, if you like what you see, if you have any questions or comments about any of the bikes you see here, please ask us. We'd love to give you information on what's hot, what's new, what good quality parts are at, and uh, hopefully we'll have you in here next time at Tricked Out.